Daniel installed the insulation. You guys saw that we had a spot here that had black mold or some kind of moisture over there on the top. There wasn't insulation on that corner over there. And he put insulation there. And we are going to install the sheetrock. I think we're gonna start on the ceiling over here because I think Stan is not gonna want to remove this ceiling. I'm going to pass you this sheet. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, I'm going to pass it to you up like this. What I want to do is I want to put this sheet between the ceiling and the ladder. You see how I have the ladder so close to the ceiling? That's going to be to help hold the sheet rock so you don't have to hold all the weight. Okay? Mm -hmm. Once we get it up in there, up there, we're going to position this sheet around to where the corner, you know, to where it fits in the corner good. Okay? You shouldn't have to hold a lot of weight. You're basically just going to be balancing. Once we kind of get it over there, I'm going to take this stick and I'm going to put it behind you and hold up that piece of sheetrock and then I'm going to climb on this side and I'm going to finish holding it up here and I'm going to put some screws in over here. Okay? Um, it might be better if you get on this side. Yeah. That's how you get on this side. Alright. Here we go. Are you ready? Slide it towards the window there. Yeah. Hold that right there for just a second. This here, like, you gotta push your end all the way up, all the way up. Hey, how do I Okay. How is it? You okay? Yes, but I'm getting tired, so. one will be easier because we won't be up against the corner. That's, that's the hardest one. Can you believe I did that? Yeah, you did good. Uh. Careful. Uh. Right. 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 Okay, well, hold on. Let's, 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 let's stop and let's, uh, let's think this through. Okay, can you climb up the, forget the stick, can you climb up that side of the ladder? and lift it up, maybe that'll be more controlled for you. Are you, you need to get down? You need to get down? Not yet, but... 
Okay, well, just are you gonna be able to hold it? Are you gonna be able to do it? If not, we can sit. We can let it. We can let it down. Yes. Let it down. Okay, let it. Let it down. All right, we can let go. We can let go. Bye. <laughs> Good job. It's perfect. Yeah, couldn't be better. Ah, uh, I can't believe we did right. You did. You did. We got it right. We, we took a little bit longer, but we got it right the first time. <laughs> Good job. That was, that was Feel proud of yourself though? Getting that sheet up there like that? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe we did that. We did good. That's a that's 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 not easy. No. This is considered hard work by people by who do this every day. They consider hanging ceilings is hard work. And this is why I got the smaller sheets that are four foot by eight foot. I used to hang four foot by twelve foot. I didn't hang them by myself on a ceiling, but I would hang them by myself on a wall. But there you can push against the wall with your body yeah. and you can hold with one hand while you and it can be done and you're holding the sheet vertical or it won't break here if you try to do this by yourself you'll probably break the sheet <laughs> that's pretty impressed with you more <laughs> impressed with me yeah i'll get that sheet up there that's uh that's pretty impressive well but the first time i think it's because i'm feeling the contraction sounds like a safe side. Braxton here. Uh-huh. So I'll get extra tire. I've uh, covered up the hole for my where my light fixture goes. There's the, the box that's up there. That's uh, actually not a mistake. Because uh, I'm using one of these instead of measuring and ahead of time and cutting the hole and get trying to get it as perfect as possible uh, We use a, a little router. This one is this particular one is by a brand called uh, Roto zip or Roto saw um, Which you can get at Lowe's. I'm not sure if it's the house brand or not. It has a special bit a little router bit that it cuts on the sides, but it doesn't cut on the tip only on the side This is what they call a guided tip and it'll punch through the sheetrock and then this little guided tip area here runs along the inside of the box and is unable to cut even through a plastic box because it's not sharp. But over here where it's touching the sheetrock, it cuts fine. And so you can just run this around the perimeter of the box and get a perfectly cut box and, and, only, and not damaging that box. So just, uh, just cutting the sheetrock and it makes it much, much easier. And I'll show you here. It makes a bit of a mess, but it makes things way easier for all of your outlet boxes and, and your light fixtures. So I'll show you. All right, and I marked from ahead of time where my uh, where the butt where the hole needs to be. There you go, a perfectly cut hole. Um, it's exactly the size of uh, of my of my electrical box, and I don't have any patchwork that I'll have to do about you know for an oversized hole where I cut more than I should have out of my sheetrock. So that's uh, that that'll make my job easier later. Hanging ceilings is tough work, even for people who do it every day. But women do this.
that's okay. what you do. You don't put them all in a row. You stagger them. If you put all the long pieces on that end, uh -huh. and all the short pieces on this end, uh -huh. you'll have a line that goes straight right here where they all join. A line right here. These lines right here? Yeah, so all the division? Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, it's more stable like that? Yeah, you don't do that on that, you don't do that on the floor. That's the only part that he needs to install for the ceiling now. 